Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and we have a new version of Google Chrome that started rolling out late yesterday, July the 18th. It's still rolling out from a lot of you. So our Chrome 115 is here. It took a little while this time to get the new one. So if you go to your Google Chrome browser, you go on the upper right and the three vertical dots, help and about Google Chrome, you should be at version 115.0.5790. Uh, either you're at dot .98 or dot .99. Both are okay. What's new in here? First of all, there's the uh, Mika redesign. Um, this redesign kind of puts the Google Chrome browser's look and feel a little more in sync with Microsoft Edge. So uh, this is a, uh, a, a start of a redesign that they did. So if you look at Edge, this is Edge. And if you look at Chrome, apart from you know this bar being a little longer and things like that, it really feels and looks a lot similar. What is front facing apart from that? Uh, nothing much, except there's a new Topics API. And that is creating a stir among some of the uh, the people out there, some of the companies. Uh, why? Because uh, here's the thing. When you um, go on websites for a long time, it's always the same thing. We had cookies. And cookies typically are kind of giving a history of where you're going on the web to every website you visit. So when you go and you get tracked, the cookies are used to see where you've been so that they can target ads depending on what you like. So Google decided to do something new in, uh, last year, and it didn't please a lot of people. It was still a little too aggressive in the tracking. So they kind of thought about it and thought about what they should do, and now the new version is rolling out. It's official on 115. The Topics API is meant to replace cookies. Cookies, they give you, they give the, the people, the websites you visit, every type of information about where you've been. So they'll see the exact websites and stuff like that by scanning your cookies. With Topics API, instead of that, what happens is that the browser and Google scan your cookies, which is still tracking, which is still snooping, but to any website that you visit, instead of giving all of that info, it's going to give a general information. Say you've visited only um, animals, you know, cats, dogs, and stuff like that. It instead of saying you've been here, there, and there, and there, viewing cat videos, for example, it's just going to tell advertisers he or she likes cats. It's more general, and it does not you know, have the, the, the extensive and extensive snooping that uh, is happening. But still, Google does have to snoop for that to happen. So there's still controversy. There's still some um, companies, uh, especially Apple, saying, well, I don't like that. So uh, not everybody is adopting this new way of actually doing things. We're going to see over time if that happens or not. For the rest uh, in it, there's uh, also a, a better um, energy management uh, for the browser itself. Then there's, of course, uh, some new stuff that slowly is going to appear uh, later but is blocked right now. For the rest, it's security updates, and there's a lot of them, and we're going to talk about it in the next video. So check it out. Even if you don't care for the new features, at least... Uh, care for the security updates. And by the way, that new topics API might make some websites not work the way you used to see them. Uh, just a word of caution here. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching my videos.